on, friend? This is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy hey. Collaborative. And my friend, Elizabeth Ingen. Good morning. Hi, good to see you. It is a good morning. What is it? Thirsty Thursday. It's Thursday morning. Yes, yeah, so we're over here in Minnetonka, Minnesota. And today I want to talk about um, how real estate industry professionals can use SEO. Because, like I mentioned earlier before we did this, how sometimes people will try and get traffic and they'll do a, it's like keyword stuffing. They'll start putting all sorts of words in there. Like if you have a house you're trying to sell in, say, Minnetonka, Minnesota, some knucklehead will put in a lot of words in there. Like they'll put in Madison, Wisconsin because it's popular, or Chicago, but that doesn't help at all. It doesn't. You have to be very specific and very relevant to the search terms. Relevant. And what you were saying about keyword stuffing, keyword stuffing does not work. If you use too many search terms, keywords, you actually get knocked back. It's not helpful. And I, I actually, I experienced that. So here's an interesting thing. The amount of traffic that is coming has to equal um, the links or the keywords. It's all. It's a really technical process. And What's I was, the number? Is there a number? Well, you know what? It's You never know that. You always have to be testing. And I'll, I'll ah. just give you an example. So we were ranking on the first page for um, for a company for, for something. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it was, but it was in a specific geographic region. It was it was a specific city, San Antonio, specific city. And we were on, like, we were in position five. And then what happened was there wasn't enough traffic going to the website. And so what ended up happening was... Um, there was more, not keywords, but there was more links coming to it than there was traffic, and we actually got not back. So you never know, it's kind of a trial and error basis kind of thing. You just, you don't know. And then just from my experience, I knew it's like, oh, it's because I did too much of this and not enough of this. So, so that's a testimonial for someone like you. Yeah. Because yeah. someone like me, that I'm busy working on my business rather than my SEO, I don't know all those things that happen. So you're right. like, you got your finger on the pulse of the industry and you're yeah. keeping track of what's happening because it changes all of a sudden. It does. I remember does, yeah. Google used to rank directories and it would crawl through the whole directory. So I, I bought a directory site and then they said, no, we're not going to do that anymore. So yeah. if you don't know that, I'd keep on working away trying to make stuff happen. If I would have known, I wouldn't have wasted all that time. Yeah. That's and why it's good to use somebody that knows what they're doing. Well, right. <laughs> and you know what? And here's the interesting thing. It's like I was doing things to combat it, the, the, the knowledge that I had. And then I got together with my the group of mastermind people in my industry, and then someone told me about the traffic. I'm like, oh yeah, it was something that you know I didn't con think about, you know. And it was like, oh yeah. And then once I started doing that, it started improving. So it is really a, a technical. Process. Well, that's the thing about the internet is it's a global kind of thing, so it's really hard to narrow in. But Elizabeth's here locally in the Minneapolis, St. Paul, Twin Cities area, and more specifically, we're in Minnetonka right now. Where do you headquarter? Our business is in Minneapolis, downtown Minneapolis. Okay. Yeah. But you do work all over the nation, all over the world? We do. We do. So so if you do a search for Minneapolis SEO expert, Minneapolis SEO experts, best Minneapolis SEO, Minneapolis SEO, we're number one for all those search terms. And then we have inner pages of our website that rank for Detroit SEO, for Raleigh SEO, for, you know, on and on and on. Right. Yeah. Right. And your company is called, give it a little plug. Premier SEO Ninjas. And it, there's no www. It's Premier SEO Ninjas. And some people like put an E on Premier. It's, there's no E. Unless you're Premier. French. Yeah, Premier. And then you, <laughs> he'll put a link in as yeah, well. Yeah, I'll put a link yeah. in. Yeah. Very cool, because that's, that's really important stuff. You've you got to get inside of the head of the person that's searching. Yeah. What right. they're going to be using. And you've right. got tools and techniques and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, but geographic uh, region, I mean, that's kind of the point of this that we were talking about. You specifically want to target a specific region for local businesses. Yeah, and I was, of course, initially talking about real estate because if someone wants to buy a house specifically in, like, YZ, why would they search Egan? They wouldn't. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> right. And, if, and if, you're, if you're a real estate agent or you're a real estate investor and you've got property in YZ, Mm -hmm. Why would you want to have all the stuff with Egan in there unless you're marketing to that? So you got to think yeah. that stuff through. That's why I say outsource. Yeah. And <laughs> I just want to mention one thing quickly is that if you do some searches, sometimes the very, t in, especially in real estate, the top spots are Wikipedia. I was just doing this with actually a friend in, in the industry the other day. Wikipedia, there, there's some really um, high authority sites that rank really high, highly. Right, and, and there's ways of you can uh, beat the competitors. You just have to find out, find someone who's competent in order to help you do that. Yeah, we had talked about that last week, I believe, about 
when you get stuck into Yellow Book or Zillow or something like that. Now they're getting all the top rankings, which yeah. puts you in place with all your competition. So it's good to optimize your own personal website and domain with right. someone that knows what they're doing. Yeah, because cool. people don't, you know, people don't really find you. I mean, that's kind of the. Old, I, get, I was just having a discussion with somebody. Else. There, you know, there's that's really the old school way. People used to look in the yellow pages and look for different industries, and even online, people just don't do that anymore. No. They don't. They actually go local and um, known, liked, and trusted. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's it. Have a great day. Good to see Be you. Be well. Bye.